Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. Today we got a marathon lined up for Michelle. Michelle, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Thank you for making, oh, an earthquake. <laughs> thank you for making the video happen, for sponsoring it. I do appreciate it. We have some good stuff. Um, let me just check here real quick. We're going to do two YouTube songs and two um, Spotify songs. I'm going to mix it up like that. Um, because, uh, some of these songs are not on, um, Spotify because, uh, they're from, um, Joni and Joni, Joni Mitchell decided to pull her catalog, which is completely fine. You know, if you're, if it's your music, you can do whatever you want with it. So I totally understand. Um, so the, the, it's a theme, it's a theme. The theme is called miles and miles. And, uh, we're going to do the first song is going to be by, um, Joni Mitchell featuring the LA, LA Express. This is live from Miles of Isles, um, 1974, but it's the remastered 2022 version. And um, uh, basically, this was from, like, uh, she also wrote here from Woodstock. So I guess this must have been recorded during Woodstock. So Perfect. Now, the second one, this is going to be on Spotify. I'm going to do it here. This is White Heat from Barry Miles from the album White Heat 72. And then also she she added here, uh, he played with Aldi Miola. Awesome. name. <laughs> Thank you so much for adding that. That already gives, for me, a lot of value. I mean, not that Joni Mitchell is not, you know, um, by herself, you know, just like, you know what I mean. I just love Aldi Miola. Then, Rainy House Woman by Joni Mitchell, again from the same album, Miles of Isles, 74. And this is written about Leonard Cohen. Oh, wow. I didn't know about that. Um, It says here she had a brief fling. And she loves Suzanne. Oh, man. What a song. Ah, Leonard Cohen with, with Suzanne. He just kills me with that one. Um, Okay, and we have the link here. And then we're going to do, to finish it off, uh, this is by David Crosby, album Fifth Dimension, Eight Miles High with the Birds. I have it here as well. I have that one on Spotify. That's the marathon. So guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, get your popcorn, your tea, your coffee, your cocktails. I mean, it's, it is Friday, you know, so, um, whatever you like, of course. Um, and, uh, I'll be back in one moment. All right. And we're back and, uh, let's give it up for Joni Mitchell here. Thank you so much, Michelle. And let's just enjoy this as much as we can. And here we go. Um, uh, it's called, Oh, I get it now. It's called Woodstock, the song. Joni Mitchell featuring LA Express. Sorry about that. Maybe it's the time of men I don't know 
Chi is so good on so many different levels. Um, uh, man. <laughs> okay. 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 So what I love, of course, I'm the lyrics are just phenomenal. Um, it's a pleasure to pay attention to Joni sing. Um, the, to her phrasing, the way she phrases the words into the chords, and uh, here I love her like. All of her vocal, uh, the vocal work she's doing, the da 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 da, da. like she's just singing really a lot of like. I mean, she's always singing with a lot of variety, but just, I guess a little bit. Sometimes she's very talkative. She talks a lot, and but this is more like. I know, I don't know, maybe it's the band, um, but she's deciding here to do like longer like notes, you know, like uh beautiful. And then um uh the whole band so so good, the bass and Jesus <laughs> literally <laughs> I teared up. It's because it's so good. Um but um the the drums, the bass, the guitar, uh the piano, it's very jazzy very smooth i love it um but not smooth jazz i know you guys don't like when i say smooth jazz because it gets put into like this category like elevator jazz no this is like totally different this is master these are master this is master quality when it comes to playing and it's just wonderful and uh thank you so much michelle for these you know for these egg shakers and um for the other stuff uh, in the back, um, all the, you know, you can see it <laughs> all around here, all the um, the uh, percussive instruments that you gifted us. I, I, I use them very often, even though I don't know how to, but I do, and I appreciate them very, very much. Thank you. Um, okay, so let's continue with this. This is wonderful. I'm just loving this song. I can't wait to share it with Alexia. Um, I'll send it to her. She's staying overnight tonight somewhere, but um, I'll send it to her so she can listen to it. Um, beautiful, beautiful music. I love it. Thank you so much. Okay, let's continue. intermission we'll see you about 15 minutes <laughs> wow okay so I'm, now i'm confused okay so um let's see so let's see so this is the asylum albums but Oh, man, I don't know. I'm just lost. But yeah, hey, you guys can correct me. So it says Joni, Joni Mitchell featuring LA Express and then Woodstock. So I guess it was live, but I don't know if, it, if it's at Woodstock. So, oh, man, magical and innocent time. Mm -hmm. Anthem for the generations of peace and music. Man, what a time. And you know how, like, cliched has become to say, for people to say, oh, I was born in the wrong century. Not not that cliche anymore. Now we have a reason, you know, to actually, you know, be, like, kind of, like, pissed with uh, this generation. I don't consider myself of this generation anyway because I'm not involved with anything that's trending with this generation. Anything. Musically politically just my way of thinking like it's like completely different from anybody that uh, like even the music that i listen to nobody listens to that music like privately um so i i think i got lucky there and also my wife alexia she's so disconnected from 
from anything because we just don't we're not we're not interested you know so i guess that does make us really happy you know and that's why um i don't know i guess i it's a plus to kind of like i guess we got that from mexico when living in mexico you're totally disconnected with the news whatever's on tv you never watch tv you you never watch uh because there's nothing you can do so basically um people have given up on 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 that so i know it's kind of like a way of being ignorant but it's like in mexico it's just impossible here you can at least try so but yeah it's just like you know i don't want to change the subject too much i want to focus on the music but uh i think we are happy because we just the decide to be a little bit ignorant you know which i guess that sounds bad but you know okay so let's um let's continue with uh barry miles white heat this is a longer one let's see all right here we go <laughs> chords I don't even know what 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 chords he's playing but it sounds very familiar like it sounds very like John Coltrane-ish but maybe I don't know not too much because it is chromaticism that he's using here but in a I don't know what mode I would I would have to like it ha I have to listen to it a bit a bit slower but uh so I could break it down but it doesn't matter it just sounds amazing the chords very very dissonant um cool i love it and then this da, this ba -da -ba -da, uh, wait wait 
Well, uh, the, that that Latin jazz thing he was doing, like that merengue, you know, that Cuban Cuban thing. Um, it's so funny because even when I listened to ELP the other day, he he did that. You know, he did the Heath Emerson was playing some Latin jazz, and then a guy in the comment section was like, "There's not not Latin jazz," and I was like, "Yes, that that's Latin jazz." Like because I've been so familiar with it, you know, so. But it doesn't matter, you know. Um, so, man, this, this is crazy good. I can't even, like, I don't even know where this is going, but this is amazing. Thank you. Because I'm going to, like, I'm going to slow this down and I'm going to learn, <laughs> you know. At least, I, I at least want to know what chords he's playing and how he's connecting them um, in the, the scales. So, let's continue. Beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Wow. Wow. Yeah, I, I can I can totally see why um why Michelle was refer like telling me like yeah of course you know they played with he played with Aldi Miola, Aldi with Miola would play with someone like that like you know like that. Wow, <laughs> that was crazy. I love the the of course the pianist. I mean I don't really know who is who at the moment. Maybe you guys can tell me. I think Barry Miles is the pianist. And then the guitar player was somebody else, but um, but it was not Aldi Miola because I know uh, Aldi Miola has like this very recognizable style, you know. So I would recognize it, um, I guess. So now this one, um, this is written about Leonard Cohen, one of my, I don't know, I just love him very, very much. His music, I don't know it all, but I know some and. Everything that I hear is just beautiful. But this is Joni saying about, um, you know, Leonard Cohen. And this is Rainy House Woman. And this is also from the live performance that we're listening to. So let's get that up here. And here we go. 1974 again. It was a rainy night We took a taxi to your mother's home She went to Florida And left you with your father's gun alone Upon her small white bed I fell into Set up all the night and you watched me just to see who in the world I might be. Take a break. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Like her voice is just too much for me. Um, but beautiful, like the way she's singing um the story, you know, about them. And then uh I guess they must have been very young because like he said that he she said, like we went to uh Florida and um your mom left and you were Basically, he was staying with his dad, if I'm if I understand correctly. It's crazy because we lived in Florida, Alex and me, and it was just quite an adventure. 
because well that's what i guess one of those videos that i we would we should do in a live you know to t talk about all that but it was very difficult it was very it, it tested us you know like alexa and me but right now when she said uh, i i go to sunday school and i sing upstairs in the choir and then she's like <laughs> i can't take it man it's like so much beauty like this woman is just a piece of like gold like like they say she's a treasure you know she must be protected um and she does um beautiful musicians again i mean the musicianship is just very very good very jazzy but then again like what whatever you know what, what whatever we you want us to play Joni. Um, it's it's different to hear her in music that's not her playing the guitar, you know? It's different because she uses her, you know, her sets of tunings and and more like a tail. This is more like the whole... I love how this is, sounds more like a band, you know? But uh, beautiful. I'll send it to my wife right now. She's going to love this. Um, let's continue. Thank you so much, Michelle. Here we go. You call me beautiful. You called your mother. She was very tame. So you packed your tent and you went to live out in the Arizona sand. You are a Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Michelle. It's wonderful. Sometimes I'm just like, you know, I'm literally speechless. Like, I'm just like, I wish I could just turn off the camera, you know, and just like be with my thoughts. But, well, you know, that's what the reaction is for, I guess. Maybe my reaction is complete, like, utter... Yeah, I'm I'm kind of like overwhelmed with happiness right now, but also there's so many things that go through my head. I guess every reactor, you know, is just like or either blown away or kind of like I feel literally like it happened with another reaction today that like Alex and I did together afterwards. I was just like, what did we just hear, you know? Ah, oh, man, it's it's a wonderful thing. Um okay. But let's finish this one. Um, and hey, look, I have Walter listening. He's approving of all of this here. What a what a great man! What a great guitarist and uh, composer! And I love Steely Dan. <laughs> I love him so much. Um, and Donald, of course, and everyone who was part of them. You know, I mean, geez, it's just like the best band ever. Okay. Now the birds are next. I the birds. Let's see the birds. Um, because I super confused with yard birds and the birds, and it's just like sometimes I'm. I guess I listen to many like music like Jackson, Joe Jackson, John Jackson, Jeff Jackson, and then I'm like I mix them all together and it's a chaos. So. Just bear with me, guys, you know. I'm sorry. Um, but no, this is The Birds, 8 Miles High from 5th Dimension. And this is from 66. All right, cool. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Bye. 
Like I, I recognize this, but just because it's obviously David Crosby, um, that he does like this harmony that's so recognizable, even when he was before, you know, Crosby, Stills, Nash. So, so he's doing it on the birds, and I'm, I'm looking at the uh, the songs, and the most famous one is "Turn, Turn, Turn," and of course, I've heard like "To Everything, Turn, Turn, Turn." There is a season or a reason to, and uh, so I, I know the birds. So now, yeah, <laughs> but uh, I didn't know that he was part. So that's cool about, you know, doing these reaction videos because literally every day you learn something new about music, you know, history or appreciation, you know, uh, of all kinds of music, of even of like different genres of musical styles, musical ideas. You know, I'm always after scales and chords because it just enriches my personal experience on the guitar or on the keyboard or when I compose or singing, you know. So it's just a wonderful thing. Thank you. Thank you so much. So let's go back a little bit. cool very different um from like i don't know like there's not a lot of guitar soloing in and now you're gonna be like what what are you um not in this song but in usually like in 60s songs and they're usually very short so they don't even have like that much time but uh, maybe 66 I, I have no idea you know but um i appreciate that there was a lot of guitar soloing you know um, I, you just don't hear that that much, you know, and, and not even that, like, and now you're going to get, um, I hope <laughs> because I was going to say in the Beatles, but I haven't heard the, too much of the Beatles. 
George Harrison is a wonderful guitar player, but uh, he was like not into the shredding because it's not necessary, you know, like the playing but so fast. Um, but I have to listen to more Beatles, but I with the Beatles, it's so much about everything. Like everybody is adding so much to the song that you, I don't know. Um, it's very special, but this was a great song and it had kind of like a, almost the same chord progression. If I remember the turn, 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 like, I don't really remember it that well, but it was very similar, maybe just because of the vocal harmonies, but it was a great song. All in all, this was a great marathon. Um, the first one with Joni was just oh, fantastic. Then Michelle, I'm so happy that you chose that jazz track because it was more like fusion and you know what I like. So it was literally like, okay, I'm going to like give him some like for his jazz thirst. And then that second song, beautiful. And this was also very good. I love to, I like, I like to listen to guitar playing from the sixties because it was a bit different. It was just, um, I think people were not as obsessed on, um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I think in the 70s and the 80s, people got very obsessed about uh, playing the guitar as a major instrument, like the main instrument. Before it was more the keyboard, was more the instrument that you would solo on, I think, or the, the saxophone or the trumpet. And then in the, I think, I think in the 70s and 80s, the, the guitar became the lead you know, like the lead guitar that they're called, uh, as they call it. But back in that time, I don't know. Well, you tell me, you know, but this was great. Thank you so much, Michelle. Michelle it was a wonderful uh, marathon. I had a lot of fun. I did learn a lot as well. Thank you. And um, also, of course, uh, before I forget, uh, Michelle, this is uh, for uh, Michelle requested this um, through um it's a little link that uh, at the on the on our youtube page um uh, there's like uh, the about page where you can read about alexia and me and blah 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 and there is the request uh, or support and the, and that's where you click on and that's how you can get a marathon but usually they're sold out but i do open them on sundays okay so if you want one just do it um just like I do it around like eight o'clock. Okay. So, um, that's when I open or check on Monday. And, and if you really want it and you have to have that marathon, you can always email me. But if I am too busy, I'm, I might be, I, it would be like horrible to say, I'm, I, I'm sorry, I can't because I do work, you know? So, but I would love to do it. Of course when I have the time. Okay. All right. So that's it. Thank you so much. This was wonderful. Thanks everybody for watching. Let me know what you liked the most, what you liked the least. If there's anything that you disliked, you know, um, no problem. And you know, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. It's free, you know? Um, so yeah, I hope YouTube has mercy on our souls. Because there's a lot of uh, our, you know, fellow YouTubers that are being threatened that their channel is going to get deleted. And, oh, my God, if that ha would happen to us, that would be so horrible. But I guess I would just start from zero again. You know, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's kind of cool to get to 100,000 or 200,000 or 300,000. But in the end, you know, wh what I care about is the community, you know, the, the people that send me little messages or little emails and I can reply back, you know, and, and it's more about the whole friendship thing. Um, the subscribers is just a number in the end and you can always get it back by, you know, if something like that would happen, I guess I would be like, eh, whatever, as long as I don't lose contact with, with all you guys. All right. That's going to be it for me. Um, love you, Michelle. Take care of yourself and um, everybody else, of course, love you too. Take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you guys in the next video.